America great again. What kind of a country do we want to have? The truth of my life disproves their lie. I think climate change is real. We need to be able to have that policy debate. By and large, the GOP has denounced the military's emphasis of diversity and inclusion within its ranks under the Biden administration. But Republican candidates do differ on some defense-related issues. One of the biggest, their stance on continuing USA to Ukraine. Some argue they would stop aiding Ukraine, but others have blamed Biden for not doing enough to support their freedom. Former President Donald Trump has repeatedly said on the campaign trail he would be able to end the war within 24 hours though he has provided scant details about how he'd do that. If I'm president, I will have that war settled in one day, 24 hours. The former president also recently said Congress should withhold military support for Ukraine until various federal agencies provide them with information regarding President Biden's son, Hunter Biden's business dealings. The U.S. Congress should refuse to authorize a single additional payment of our depleted stockpiles, the weapons stockpiles to Ukraine until the FBI, DOJ, and IRS hand over every scrap of evidence they have on the Biden crime family's corrupt business dealings. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, on the other hand, characterized the war as a territorial dispute and said it wasn't vital to U.S. national security interest. But he walked back the comment shortly after. I think the larger point is, okay, Russia has not shown the ability to, to take over Ukraine, to, to, to topple the government, or certainly to threaten NATO. That's a good thing. They've been weakened. You now have the fighting in those areas. I just don't think that's a sufficient interest for us to escalate more involvement. I would not want to see, you know, American troops involved there. Underdog candidate Vivek Ramaswamy said he'd end the war by ceasing further U.S. support for Ukraine and negotiating a peace treaty with Russia. He said a vital U.S. security objective would be seizing Russia's growing military alliance with China. The Russia-China alliance is the single greatest threat that the U.S. actually faces today. And we are pushing Russia closer into China's arms. Should he win the presidency, Ramaswamy would strike a deal to freeze the current lines of control and keep Ukraine out of NATO. A scenario Ukrainian President Zelensky has already said would be a non-starter. However, some GOP candidates do believe the U.S. should continue supporting Ukraine. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott said degrading the Russian military is of vital interest to the U.S., which is why he supports arming Ukraine. The more we degrade the Russian military, the less likely there is to be attack on our sovereign territory, and it protects our NATO partners. I think that we should be in Ukraine. Former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley believes it is of vital U.S. interest to support Ukraine as well, even criticizing President Joe Biden for doing too little. President Biden has been far too slow and weak in helping Ukraine. She said leaving Ukraine to fend for itself or pushing for concessions to end the war would signal weakness to Beijing regarding Taiwan. If America and the West abandon Ukraine and Russia succeeds in taking its territory and freedom, China will hear an unmistakable message. That message can only encourage China to invade Taiwan as soon as possible. 